Hello, this is Ju. Hey, look what we have here. This is a old VHS tape. Now, I do like to collect old movies and some of them on VHS. This is from uh, probably the 1980s, 1984 here. And I picked this up hoping that it was in good shape, but I didn't really take a look at it closely enough. And it has an issue I want to fix today. Okay, so taking the tape out, uh, you can see it, it, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. But uh, when I kind of looked at the spools here, I noticed that the actual tape end on this side is missing. And so if you kind of hit this little button right here, you can open up this little flap here. And sure enough, the tape is gone. Now this can be a very common issue, especially with old tapes, uh, along with let's say VCRs eating tapes and them breaking in the machine, which could happen anywhere in the tape. Uh, a very common damage issue is when you're rewinding the tape, a lot of VCRs do not slow down. More modern ones or newer ones do slow down as it gets to the end of the spool and so it doesn't stop as suddenly, but some of the older ones, it's spinning and rewinding the spool and suddenly, pop, it stops. And uh, when it does that multiple times, a lot of times the tape breaks and it usually always breaks at the very end. And I'm not sure if you can see this. Let me zoom in but you can kind of see right there that's the end of the tape and it kind of broke right there so really it broke about an inch two inches from the end of the tape and believe it or not this is actually a fairly simple fix to repair unlike let's say if the tape breaks midway you you will need to splice it and use some splicing tape but this one's just opening it up and reseating the tape at the end of the spool and I'll show you how to do that. So you will have to open up the tape and if you flip it over like this, you'll either see five or six screws. In this case, it's six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I think some of them have five. Uh, but in before I remove those screws and it just takes a Phillips screwdriver, um, Many times there's a label on this end. There's no label here, but there's a little sticker here. I don't think I really care about that sticker. I think I'll kind of peel that off and just put it aside. Uh, but there are some original uh, Premiere Video here uh, label, and here's a little warrant or, or warning label. Violation of this label could result in legal uh, prosecution. So I'm not quite sure what the violation would be. I assume it's if you remove the label, but this is a very old tape, so I don't think I'll be arrested. But um, you could either try to peel these off uh, and just remove them completely, uh, carefully remove them and maybe seal them back up. This is kind of more of a collector's tape, so I might want to do that. But really, if I try to pull it, pull it off and re uh, reseal it, it'll probably damage this tape or damage the label more. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a razor blade and you could also do this with labels on this side and I'm just gonna really carefully cut along the seam of this tape. You could see it's split into two and I'm just gonna, now you want a sharp uh, razor blade and doing this just carefully and just I'm just going to score right down the center like that. And so that's not too bad. Clearly you could see a little cut there, but it will split apart when I open up this tape. Okay, now that we scored these labels, we're just going to flip it over, take our screwdriver and start removing all six screws in this case. Okay, so I did remove five of the screws, but I am having a little bit trouble with this one right here. Let me zoom in. So this screw is actually called a security screw and I've encountered these before. Uh, they don't have the traditional let's say uh, flathead or Phillips uh, top on them. So they're more difficult to get out. Usually they require a specialty bit, 
But this one I haven't really encountered before, and it might reflect the age of this tape from the early 1980s. Uh, this one doesn't even have any kind of teeth or bit or nothing. It just kind of has this smooth hole, as best I can tell. Um, now I could try to, you know, kind of file in some or cut in some grooves. Maybe I could get a flathead in there. I, I assume it's a screw rather than like a rivet of some kind. Uh, but I think uh, if I try to carve into this screw, uh, it I could damage the plastic around it. So I think the easiest thing to do is just drill this out with my Dremel and just uh, kind of leave it at that. Uh, so let's do that next. Okay, so I was able to drill out that one screw. Hopefully you won't have that same issue. If you're dealing with like home videos, etc., they do not have security screws. And if you do have a security screw, hopefully it has a bit end and not just kind of a hole like that. So that did slow me down. Uh, hopefully you will not encounter that same issue. So from here, I wanna flip it over. You still wanna hold on to the tape. Uh, if it accidentally opens up, there's lots of small little parts you could lose. So you wanna make sure you do this carefully. So you wanna just put it uh, face up and then open up the door again, like that. Now you could either hold open the door, but what I like to do is just take some painter's tape and kind of secure the, the, the door open just so it's out of the way and doesn't cause any issues. Okay, so from there, you just wanna very carefully it's already kind of open, open up the case and hopefully nothing will fall out. Now there are a, a few guides. There's, there's like a little guide here that can come out. Uh, there's a little roller here, there's a guide here. So if those fall out, just make note of where they are. There's also um, the reels themselves and there's a little, little brake, little plastic brake mechanisms there. And of course on this side, you, you will see a screen or a spring and as long as the door is open, that spring won't fall out. So you could just put that aside. And this is the inside of the tape. And so looking at the tape, just you could just lift up the spool here and figure out where that end of the tape is. And, and sure enough, here it is. There's the end of the tape. And uh, the, the, the beginning lead is always clear. That doesn't have any recorded information on it. And so we're just gonna leave that out right here. And so what you need to do is you need to th re-thread this tape ar around these little guides. And there's a little flap right here that kind of holds it in place. So you wanna get it around this little post and that little flap just like that. So this, again, let me zoom in here. So there's this little flap here that you're getting it between that and the post and around on the back end of this guide. So you just wanna make sure that's properly in place there. Okay, now that we have this end of the tape uh, secured on that end, we wanna deal with this spool where it broke off and you could just lift that up carefully like that and you can see the little flap that broke off right there. Now the end of the tape is actually held into place by this little red tab and this little window here that you can actually remove that. And so just the end is secured here and they actually kind of impress or press this in and it kind of just kind of clips in there. And so you want to get that out. Now you could do that a couple of different ways. You could either take a screwdriver and just pop it out this way, but uh, it that could you could crack uh, this piece and also damage the little teeth that's holding it together. Uh, you could take some small pliers and, uh, and kind of insert them and pull it out this way through the window. Uh, but in this case, there's uh, a little hole at the bottom, which is kind of convenient. So I'm gonna take a uh, paper clip, put it in there and push it up. And hopefully I can kind of push up this piece of plastic and yes indeed you can see that it's being pushed up just like that and I could remove it with my fingers so just put that aside really carefully and there you have it you could see how the film was originally put in there and I'm just going to take some pliers 
And that's the end of the tape. And so to reinsert the tape, you just basically want to make sure that you have the tape oriented the correct way. So it comes out this way. And so you're just basically going to place it in flat. So you don't want to twist it this way. Uh, so go ahead and put it in there. You might need little tiny fingers to get in there. And it's okay if it's uh, kind of sticking out a little bit, it, that won't really hurt it. And then you want to put this little plastic piece back in there. Again, my fat little fingers don't really do the trick that easily. And then you just want to push it in straight. And I'm kind of holding it with my uh, thumb. Now I can't, it's, it's kind of hard to push this in. It's not really getting in. So I'm actually going to kind of use the end of the pliers here holding both ends like this and see if that will work. And I'm just going to squeeze. And there it goes. It clipped in. And now you can see the tape is secure into the spool. And now to get the spool back in, now again, here's a little guide post here, metal, and there's a white one right here. You always want to go on the back side of the metal one, so in between, so you just want to put it in. You don't want to put it the opposite way like that, so you want to put it in like this. Pull, put the spool in. Now these are uh, basically the brakes to it, so if, if if this is out like this, that'll prevent it from going backwards and forwards here. So if you can't seem to reel it in, I could reel it in this way, but this one's not moving. So just make sure that these are not activated and then those will move freely. So you can go ahead and do that. Pull in there and then go ahead and there's the brake. So just like that, we'll just keep it like that. A little bit of the spool is in. Okay, and so now for the cover, uh, you do wanna note that uh, these little posts have little areas where those go. Uh, be careful of that spring. Keep this flat. This is taut, good. And uh, there's also these, there's these little flaps for the brakes that are there. You can see these right here. And so you get these little wings. So you do wanna get those kinda in between so I usually do it like a door I kind of um, shut it like this I start on this side make sure that those wings are there and just kind of lay it in place like this and kind of work it down until now there will be a little bit of a spring here let me show you this because there's a spring here that holds these, these spools down. So there'll be a little bit of pressure you'll need to apply like that. Make sure everything closes well. Go ahead and remove your tape. The door should shut nicely. Inspect your work. Good. Door opens, shuts. Good. And now just holding it, you could flip it over. And in this case, I'm just gonna replace the five screws. I'm not gonna worry about the security screw. Uh, it doesn't really need that. And so in replacing these screws, you just kinda wanna, you know, replace one, do the opposite corner, you know, opposites, opposites, etc. And there you go. You should have a functional VHS tape once again that will hopefully not break and if it does you know how to fix it now so well i hope this video helped you out and if it did please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel i have many more videos to come Bye bye